was the party. I wasn't invited. That's not the truth. Last year, you gave me a bunch of about not inviting you. Well, who doesn't want to be invited to a party? Well, I didn't even know you liked me. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <You're not laughs> even Dallas is like, God damn. <laughs> she guessed. <laughs> she, wow, was it that obvious? Let's see here. Let's talk about your girl. Yeah, my girl. Your girl, right. man. What man? Get your girl under control, man. A lot of people. They said, you know, she won't even let me look her in the eye. And I'm her guest. Can't talk to her. Treats me like shit. Runs me like a slave up in here. Ellen running that plantation over there, they said, <laughs> at the production of the Ellen DeGeneres show. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about her toxic environment on set. And we, it started out as kind of like a, just a page where people were having fun putting up stuff on BuzzFeed. Hey, tell us your Ellen story. Yeah, tell us how much she's a bitch. Tell us how much you hate working there. Ha, ha, ha. And then uh, it started to get so caught, it caught on so much that people like, you know what? After looking at all the complaints that people are making, they like, wow, you know, this shit really ain't funny. <laughs> she really was kind of abusive. And now it's become such a story that Warner Brothers is saying, well, shit, we got to run an investigation on DeGeneres over here. More co-workers from her show have stepped forward with accusations of a toxic work environment. I think that I... Oh, shit, they gave her the... You know, they, <laughs> they, they the sounds they usually reserve for, like, killers. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, criminals. That's the same sound they used for Charles Manson when he died, <laughs> and they used it for Ella DeGeneres. <laughs> Yeah, man, they gave her the they gave her the villain sound effects. I don't think you achieve anything by bullying people. Some staffers said they were fired after taking medical leave. Another said she was fed up with comments about her race. According to Buzz, they airbrushed the fuck out of that, didn't they? <laughs> man, you can't come back from having close-ups on on uh, Ellen, uh, and, and, you know, uh, uh, Raw, and then we do put put this shit up. <laughs> That's like, like a, a doll, uh, man. What's that? She looks like a Chucky doll. She yeah. looks plastic here. That shit looks like a Snapchat filter, man. You can't, <laughs> you can't yeah, look it up. You just saw pictures. I ain't trying to be mean, but you did close up. Let me see here. You Look at this shit. You just did close up HD pictures. Raw now, HD got, pictures Go back of her. one more for me, because there's one that's like especially bad. I don't mean to be picking on her or anything. I'm just saying to prove your point, like that, that shit ain't right. No, I, they did that. I mean, look, there, yeah, that like one. this Jeez. one right here. <laughs> like you, I'm just saying, you know, production note. You, to whoever's editing these videos, unless you're doing this shit on purpose, you can't go from from that to to smooth as a <laughs> as a fucking porcelain doll right here. <laughs> you know, you go. I mean, the contrast is obvious and very recognizable right there. Oh shit. Anyway, y'all get the picture. She's uh, they say she's a bitch. Uh. A lot of people have been saying that the debate has been on whether this is this is her or if it's her producers that are allowing this so-called toxic environment that that's been created on the production of our show. Uh, you know, and also, again, all the accusations that are showing up right now. Christian, as usual, uh, want to tell us about this more? Yeah, I mean, well, here's the weird thing about this, man. To, to take it from a personal place, my mother fucking loves Ellen DeGeneres. Like, when I first moved to L.A., the first thing she asked me was, how close are you to Ellen? And then I live 10 minutes from Burbank, and that's where she films her show. So yeah. my mom was planning to come here, not to see her son, by the way, her baby boy, but because she really wanted a place <laughs> to stay close to Ellen's studio. <laughs> so, fun fact. Uh, so when I heard this story, it was really interesting because I just wanted to ruin my mom's day and be like, oh, this is great. She's a terrible person. I don't know what the truth is. I'll be the first one to say that. What yeah. I will say about Ellen DeGeneres outside of this specific situation is that she has cultivated a rumor, like, like a reputation for herself as not being the friendliest. I've heard multiple things about guests being told not to make eye contact with her, anonymous staffers, all before this BuzzFeed thing popped up, that there was this pervasive culture of kind of being really shitty to people who are below the line, as they say. So it's like not a shocking thing to hear. Now, when it comes to this specific thing, a lot of the allegations are talking about a uh, like sexual predatory producer uh, who was allowed to flourish. It wasn't like he was here for one or two years. Mm -hmm. He was there for 17 years from the entirety of the show. Uh, so he's been called out specifically. I think you know this like any – 
positions of power, they do a really good job of trying to insulate the top person away from actual controversy. Yeah. So I don't think there's any like paper trail that's going to directly get Ellen fired or anything. But I also think that everyone with two brain cells is going to be able to put that together that like, of course she knew it's called Ellen. You think she doesn't know what's going on on her show? Yeah. Well, okay. So I remember when all the stuff started coming out, I think it was on Buzzfeed that all these things came up and it was kind of like a joke. It was, uh, you know, again, tell us your, tell us your favorite shitty Ellen story. And at the time I said, well, anybody can make up something. Anybody can anonymously post something about her. So I just kind of said, oh, I don't, you know, maybe he had, maybe it happened, maybe it didn't, but I don't think there's any kind of substantial proof that this is true. So I treated it like I treat a lot of things and a lot of things that people don't even like to hear uh, in the beginning. Like I, I, I treat it almost like these sexual assault cases. Uh, I don't want to blame anybody for anything until I hear more information. I don't want to say, I don't want to make any judgments or conclusions until I hear more information. So I just kind of pulled back and just said, you know, I don't know. But just like these sexual assault cases, more and more people started to come out. More and more people did, that did have, did have credible backgrounds start to say things. And so just like those accusations, it's almost like, well, man, there's so much coming out right now that, you know, I mean, I don't think all these people are just doing this because everybody hates Ellen out of nowhere. You know, if Ellen was a genuinely d- d- decent person, which I don't know, maybe she is. She says that it has nothing to do with me, uh, although there's something to contradict that uh, later. Uh, you know, or, you know, this, you know, if, uh, uh, and it's just because of uh, her producers that are creating this environment, or she's just kind of ignorant and doesn't know. You know, I, I don't think those rumors would start to be out there this much. If she was a truly a kind person and her work environment was nice, people would say that. Not this many people be out to destroy somebody or wreck their image just because it's a joke or it's funny or they want to jump on the bandwagon. I don't think that's the case, man. Now there's so many people coming out and talking about this that, yeah. And then you start going back and looking at things. You pulled up a clip with the, uh, Dakota Johnson where you see things where it's like on air. On air, you know, there were hints of people kind of kind of calling her out on her bullshit saying, yeah, you know, maybe, okay, let's just say you're not even shitty, but you're kind of phony. How was the party? I wasn't invited. That's not the truth. Last year, you gave me a bunch of about not inviting you. Well, who didn't want to be invited to a party? Well, I didn't even know you liked me. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> <You're not laughs> even Dallas is like, God damn, <laughs> she guessed. <laughs> she, wow, was it that obvious? <laughs> you know, um, the big thing that came out with this is Brad Garrett, who was uh, Raymond's brother on Everybody Loves Raymond. I mean, he's been to some other things, too. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, he came out and he finally called her on her bullshit. Now, this is a celebrity. Unless there's a personal axe to grind, I don't know if if he would be out out there trying to ruin this woman's image unless he really had some experience to speak on. Uh, This is him in a tweet calling her out saying, like you said, Christian, it's called the Ellen show. You know, it stops with you. He says, sorry, but it comes from the top at the Ellen show. No more than one who were treated horribly by her common knowledge. The generous sins, emotional apology to staff. Right. Anyway, she uh, they, he's saying, you know, hey, look, I don't want to put anybody out there. But yeah, you know, and, and it's also come out that this whole thing about her being really cool to people and giving them homes and money and whatnot. All that that's been for the show. You know, all that's been kind of phony. So, I, you know, but with more and more and more accusations that come out and people start to actually pile on to what's already there. I'm sorry, but yeah, I, again, I don't think people, why would somebody want to bring down Ellen out of nowhere? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I completely agree. And I think that's the thing. There's a little too much smoke to, for there not to be some fire in this particular situation. Like, I'm with you. Rumors are rumors. You usually need to vet those. You need to let the truth kind of come out. But when we've heard so many people, it's like the Cosby thing. The first two Cosby things before I knew anything, I was like, well, that's Bill. Come on. But then when you hit 20 to 30 people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to kind of readjust and be like, okay, that doesn't seem like a calculated thing. This seems like this person may have done something really terrible. And so when I look at her, it's like, look, I think that she's been insulated enough that none of the sexual assault things are going to bring her down. I think that they would need proof to do that. This is the most popular daytime show in the last 20 years. You know, it's a moneymaker for the network. 
But I look at it as like now celebrities are starting to call out. There's a but you go on YouTube, just do your own research, people. Type in like cringe Ellen moments. Like I picked that one, but there are 15 other ones, and they're all <laughs> weird and all bad. And so yeah. I just wonder what's the tipping point at some point. Like if we just all culturally were to turn against her, is she going to lose this job? I would say money is way more important than optics for yep. every other company. So probably not. But this does feel like a genuine moment where five, six years ago she was hosting the Oscars because she was so loved egalitarian you know what i'm saying like oh everyone loves ellen and now it seems like six years later we're yeah. like fuck this person man yeah i mean i'm still w- willing to hear what's coming out with this but i i definitely have to lean on this whole thing of like yeah she does not she this is not i don't know her so I, i'm hesitant to say <laughs> but uh, I, I don't it sounds like she's just not a really good person this whole thing about there was an australian uh interviewer who said you know, y'all need to get real. You know, this whole thing of, because this is where it comes with Ellen. I mean, these orders come from fucking Ellen. It's not, it's not the producers or anything, you know, saying, don't look me in the eye. Don't talk to me before this point. Don't do this shit. Don't do that. Now, maybe they got some mental thing going on, or maybe that's ego, but that's a shitty thing, man. I know I wouldn't. I, anytime you think that high yourself where it's like, you can't look me in the eye at certain times. You can't do it. I mean, yeah, I'll be the first to tell you, fuck you. You know, he's like, hey, right. you ain't, we came yeah. at Steve Harvey with that energy when all those reports came out that Steve Harvey was also like, you can't look me, look at me in the eye on set and shit like that. We were like, you're a f- asshole. Like, I like Steve Harvey. Yeah. But that's some assholeish behavior that needs to get checked. Uh, yeah. He got checked yeah. and apparently he's not done that since. Yeah. I'll tell you, I, I would not treat somebody like that. I would tell somebody, hey, look, don't distract in case I'm preparing something or doing this. Or explain why there's a reason. But if it's just like you can't look me in the eye. Because I'm so and so, I will be the first to look you in the f-ing eye. You don't want to tell me that shit. And if you kick me out, kick me out. You cuss me out, f- you too. I don't because these people apparently Ellen treated these people like uh, had everybody walking on eggshells. F- that man, nobody should have to take that shit off of somebody. If there's a reason why you can't be distracted and explain it and treat people decently, but the moment you tell me I gotta be careful around you, I gotta be scared to breathe. You can suck my dick. You, yeah, I, mean, I hate that kind of shit. No, man, no, no. I'll well, be the first to look you in the eye. And you got something to say? Well, you know what? You can f- off, or I'll f- off. And it's so counter uh, not counterintuitive, rather than than what her mission statement was. If you actually read her apology, she's like, "From day one, I wanted this to be a happy environment. I said, no fighting, no one raises their voices, no one feels unsafe. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for that to be your mission statement, supposedly, I wasn't in the room, but that's what she said in her own statement, and then to be blissfully unaware. I just, I, I don't think anything happens without your approval on a yeah. show that has your name on it. I just don't. Uh, I certainly, you saw something. Certainly, someone said something. And uh, you know, we're doing this self-correcting thing right now, where we're trying to go in and we're trying to remove toxic people from the workplace. And I'm not uh, straight up can- asking for a cancellation, but I think that it's interesting that usually it's been like powerful men in situations who allowed bad things to happen or did bad things. And now it's like we're getting a case study on like this is good because it can't just be one gendered right it can't be gendered yeah. bias we have to be able to root out uh indiscriminately yeah and it seems like that's what we're doing i'll tell you this much i don't know uh because i don't want to be that person that wants also to jump on a bandwagon of the i hate ellen you know uh, <laughs> uh trend that's going on right now but i will tell you if she's that kind of person that, that genuinely is telling people you can't do this to me you can't do that to me and if it is out of some sort of ego or fame or something uh she's a total bitch and i hope she gets exposed for it uh, if it's all the misunderstanding, I would love an explanation for it. it. Ain't looking good, but I'm with you. I don't think she's gonna lose anything. You know, I think well, she'll see, change. I mean, if there's more public pressure, that's the thing. But I don't think there's gonna be public pressure because even with this, she's like beloved by people. She's gonna make her transition. Remember, I mean, she hung out with. You know why she missed Dakota Johnson's birthday party? Because she was hanging out with George W. Bush at that baseball game. This was like last <laughs> two years ago. This is her transition from beloved left icon to like right wing troll. She's gonna be on. Ben Shapiro next week, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Shit, give it time, man. Yeah. Ro, she's going down. Don't get to a point where she's going to be trying to make coats out of puppies and shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> skinning puppies. All right. Anyway, uh, and yes, I made the mistake of saying, anybody treats me like that, you can suck my dick. And they said, well, Corey, you're not, good, good luck with her. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so, 